hello you guys and welcome back to my channel wherever you're watching this at so it is 10 45 p.m in virginia and i just wanted to come on and i wanted to try this new foundation routine out with y'all y'all know i do not wear foundation at all or i try not to at least i don't wear it like in my everyday life pretty much so I just I've been looking at routines and I decided I'm gonna try I look then I'm gonna try the foundation routine out and I wanted to share my experience with y'all you know get it out there so like I said this is a journey wherever I go y'all go pretty much I might start vlogging soon because I got a camera now. It's not like a brand new camera. Matter of fact, this is it right here. We want to see how it works, but you know, just be ready. So tonight I'm going for a simple look since I'm just really trying to do the foundation after I do my makeup. Um, and I'm going to go in with my morphe james charles palette and we finna get started it's hot in here though so give me one sec also i'm gonna say this now just in case i do not own rights to whatever songs you hear in the background they are old school songs that i'm listening to on youtube as of right now i'm listening to um tony terry with you which is very old school but yeah so Let's get this party started. So, I really don't know what kind of look I'm going to go for. Like I said, this is just really random because I really just want to try the foundation out. But, and I have a little cold. I'm going to go in with this color right here first. And I'm also using my um, Ditto Cosmetics eco earth palette i love this palette this palette is really good if you haven't checked them out on instagram it's d-i-t-o cosmetics y'all will really love that so i'm going to dip into that color out of the james charles palette and you know i got my cat camera cat camera my cat mirror right here with me and i'm going to take it right here close to the brow bone but a little bit above my crease as a transition shade and we're just going to blend that see i love this color especially since it's getting towards like christmas now that thanksgiving is over i like those colors that make me feel warm and cozy inside that makes me want a cup of hot chocolate so i'm just going to take this color like i said and blend up as close to this part of the brow bone as possible but not all the way up just keep on blending baby blend I have a tendency to make a lot of weird faces I see on um, my videos and if you don't like that I'm sorry but that's just me it's like I don't know I feel like the face mix the makeup sometimes so now i'm gonna go in with this semi dense fluffy brush from my um bh cosmetics rose like chocolate rose gold palette and palette brush set and i'm going with this color right here and i'm gonna blend that into the crease and we're just going to do like this. Go right here. And I really love this color. Do you? And the way it transitions into that other color. Blend, baby blend. Make sure all them colors like that. Yes. We're going to go into the other eye. do like spongebob you gotta have that pinky out okay and now we're going to go 
into this chocolatey brown almost black color right here and blend that into the outer crease I got my handy towel right here like I always do dip 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 and swirl it swirl lightly touch it because this is very pigmented but you want to add just a little bit of depth as the fancy people say see this eye when you look with the chocolate right there it makes this eye look higher and lifted and this eye looks like so we're going to do this eye the same way and as I say swirl it baby swirl it and you want to bring it in not all the way right here but like right in this area right here and just keep swirling and see now, I don't know what's wrong with this eye. I might just be lazy, but <laughs> they're both swirled out. They both look lifted, which is really nice. And now we're going to go in with my Ditto Cosmetics palette. And we're going to take the color... We're going to go in with the color Gemini right here and put that right here. And I'm going to go in with my Luxie 239 Pre blah, 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 blah. Precision, Shader, Precision Shader Brush. This is what it looks like. And now I'm Joyce. And I'm Joyce. I'm sorry. I don't know what's going on with me tonight. But I'm just going to dip, dip, dip. It's like a gray purple color. I'm going to dip it in. And then we're going to just tap it. It's showing up. I didn't really dip that much the first time. Yep, that's it. Actually, hold on. I'm going with my pinky finger. That's better. Way better. So, dipping with your pinky finger. I didn't have a problem with this color the last time. But, I didn't. I don't think I tried it with my finger. So, I'm going to do the same process over here. I'm going to dip. Act surprised. <laughs> and then I'm going to... Um, going with my pinky finger now if you haven't seen my um my review on this palette you need to this palette is really worth your money and the colors are actually very pretty see it's just that certain colors you do have to use your fingers for but other than that see Okay, let me make sure it's on. Yep. Yeah, that's it. Now you want to go back in with your BH Cosmetics 101 Fluffy Brush back in that dark brown from the James Charles palette. And you just want to blend it together into that color from the, um, Ditto Cosmetics, you just want to lightly blend it in seamlessly. And boom, baby. Now, I'm going to do um, my lashes, my mascara, well, mascara lashes and liner off camera. And then when we come back, we're going to try this foundation routine out. So, give me one minute. So 
So now we're gonna try out the foundations. I got my lashes on from um, Ally, Ally Express. I use the um, NYX Cosmetic Eye Pencil in Emerald City under my eyes. And in the Ditto Cosmetics um, palette, I used Aurora underneath and then I used Alto in my inner corner. So now we're about to get started. For real this time so for right now I'm going to use the nurture by nature the NXN flash matte perfecting primer on my face just gonna pump that on. that sound like a fart just gonna pump that in the most important places and then get my towel ready sorry for this mess it's all my makeup and stuff we're gonna rub it in. I do have naturally oily skin, so that's another reason why I feel like I struggle with um, foundations. So we're just gonna try this together. Put some. there now we're gonna go in with the foundation we're gonna should have swatched these first we're gonna see this one from NYX cosmetics the can't stop won't stop works or we're gonna see if the makeup resolution conceal and define foundation works so this one Feel like I'm getting played with that one. Then this one right here. They look about the same. I think I'm gonna go for this one though. So I'm just take and wipe this one off. I'm gonna rub some of this primer back right there. And then we're going to go in and get this party started so i'm using this brush from moda got it from walmart and we're gonna take the foundation put it everywhere This has an olive undertone. Hold on. There. Now we're going to take our brush.
Oh no. It's even covering up my tattoo. This is an epic fail. We're gonna wipe this off. So, as you can see, you guys, this was an epic fail. This is why I love being transparent with y'all because, like I said, I'm self taught. So, I love what I do, even though I hardly know what I'm doing. I have to teach myself through videos and stuff like that, but this ain't where it's at. This ain't where it's at, sis. Like, this is not my shade. My shade is not. I look like a, a brown olive. A brown olive. And I don't like this. I need to get some more wipes, too, because this... Yeah, this ain't where it's at, sis. Problem you with that. So, as you can see, this is a fail. But my eye look still came out cute, so I'm going to try to save it, which I know I am. But other than that, you know, I hope you guys have fun watching this, because that's, that, was just, that was scary. I did not like that at all. But, like I said, you got to trial and error this and that's why I don't buy expensive foundations right now. NYX and Makeup Revolution is my go-to. I use uh, NYX foundation sometimes to prep my eyelids for um, um, my eyeshadows. But, and NYX Cosmetics, I love I've been using their cosmetics before I even knew that people actually did like them. So, I'm just going to leave this right here. If you liked this video and you thought it was funny, especially towards the end when that color did not match, leave a thumbs up. Um, I guess next time I'll actually go ahead and try the um, NYX Cosmetic Foundation and we'll get a good laugh out of that. But other than that, I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up and, you know, follow me on Instagram. I will put my links down below. I will for well my links down below for my instagram and my twitter and on top of that for um my dental cosmetics makeup review so y'all can see that but other than that thank you for watching i'll see you guys in the next one peace